Hey, New Hope, it's Pastor Austin here. Just wanted to give you an inside look of what me and my family do for our family devotions. We've got a five, a three, and a two-year-old at home. And so as you can imagine, uh, we don't spend a whole lot of time diving into the Greek and the Hebrew and doing word studies, but we do try to be as intentional as possible to spend time with our kids, reading the Word of God, and praying for our missionaries every day. The first thing I want to show you is the Jesus Storybook Bible. And we love this Bible more than any other kid's Bible because all of the stories revolve around Jesus. And they're not just good moral uh, lessons, but they point and relate and always point back to Jesus and his life. The second thing that Elizabeth came up with, which is genius, is a missionary book. And so we uh, print off the sheets of a different uh, country. We allow our kids to paint it or watercolor or crayon or marker, color it. And uh, if we've got a missionary, like we've got Julie Spencer here, we've got her prayer card inside this. And then um, you'll get to see how the kids pray for all the missionaries. So enjoy this as you get to see an inside look in the Weaver household. Okay, guys, today's story is titled God's Messenger. And it's a story that you guys know. It's Jonah. Do you guys know anything about Jonah? Uh -huh. He got spit out of the giant whale. Yeah, he got spit up by a giant whale. Let's read. God had a job for Jonah, but Jonah didn't want it. Go to Nineveh, God said, and tell your worst enemies that I love them. No, said Jonah. Those are bad people doing bad things. Exactly, said God. They have run far away from me, but I can't stop loving them. I will give them a new start. I will forgive them. No, said Jonah. They don't deserve it. Jonah. I'll run away. Jonah said to himself, far away, so far away that God won't be able to find me. Then I won't have to do what God does, or God says, it's a good plan, he said, because as far as he knew, it was a good plan. But of course, it wasn't a good plan at all. It was a silly plan because you can't run away from God. He'll always come find you. Jonah went ahead with his not very good plan. One ticket to not Nineveh, please he said, and boarded a boat sailing in the very opposite direction of Nineveh. Well, it wasn't long before a fierce wind blew, and the boat started to lurch and pitch and roll, and everyone started turning green. Jonah sat bolt upright in his bed. You see, the first thing that went wrong with Jonah's not very good plan was that God sent a big storm after him. The sailors couldn't Daddy. sail their ship properly. Well, that's that's not, the storm. That is Those not clouds. Poop. That is dark clouds. <laughs> we're sinking they screamed and started throwing everything overboard suitcases food whatever they could find by now jonah knew that the storm was his fault throw me in instead he shouted to the sailors and the storm will stop the sailors weren't sure it's the only way you can be saved jonah cried so one two three splash no sooner had Jonah hit the water, then the waves grew calm, the wind died down, and the storm stopped. Just then, Jonah thought it was all over, and he was sure he was going to drown. God sent a big fish to rescue him. The fish swallowed Jonah whole with one big gulp. Jonah must have thought he died. It was so dark in there, like a tomb, but he smelled the rotting food and the felt slimy seaweed, and he knew he wasn't dead. He was in the belly of the fish. Sitting there in darkness for three whole days, Jonah had plenty of time to think. Pretty soon he realized his plan was, well, a very silly plan indeed. He was sorry for running away from God. He prayed to God from inside the, heart, from inside the great fish and asked God to forgive him. After three days, the fish spat Jonah safely out onto the sandy beach. Just then, Jonah heard someone calling his name. Go to Nineveh, God said. And this time, Jonah said, yes. He went straight to Nineveh and told everyone God's wonderful message. Even though you've run far from God, he can't stop loving you, Jonah told them. Run to him so he can forgive you. The people of Nineveh listened to Jonah, and they started loving God. They learned to do what God said and stop running away from him, just like Jonah. When you were in mommy's tummy, it was super dark. Yeah, that's true. Did she spit you up? God, God. No. Many years later, God was going to send another message. 
with the same wonderful message. Like Jonah, he would spend three days in utter darkness, but this messenger would be God's own son. He would be called the Word because he himself would be God's message. God's message translated into our own language. Everything God wanted to say to the whole world in one person. Who is that one person? No, who is the person many years later God was going to send? Jesus. Jesus. And Jesus, the way he lived his life, is the way that God wants us to live our life. Jesus, that's it. Yeah. What did you guys learn from the lesson today? When God asks you to do something, do it. Do what? it. Don't make your own plan. God's plan. Whose plans are the best? God. Yeah? God's plan. God's plan? Do you think that God will always love us even when we make a bad decision? Yep. If we don't follow his plan, will he still love us? Yep. Will he try to make another way for us to follow his plan? Nope. Is that what he did for Jonah? Nope. What did he do for Jonah? He, he scooped him up with a giant fish. Yep. <coughs> and did he get a second chance to follow God's plan? Yep. He did. You're right. So do you think God would do that for us? Yep. He would. Yeah. He would. All right, guys. Let's pray for our missionaries. Who's going no, first? I want to read. I want to read. read. I wanted to read. Um... Um, Another story? Jesus died on the cross. Okay, we'll do that after we pray for our missionaries, okay? Okay. Chua, All right, who's chua. going first? I can chua, first. Chua. All right. Stop that in when you want to. Julie? Julie? Okay, right. Sam, you pray first. God, I pray for you. Hey, yeah, Sam that's Julie. Praying. We're praying. God, I pray for the people in in the need that they would have wisdom and help yeah. them know me, me and you and you, you, you. You want to pray for Julie? I pray for Julie to see the people know her baby. But Amen. Essie, do you want to choose? Oh, you want to pray for Julie? Say, Jesus, please be with Julie. Let her minister to all the people. Let her show your love all over Indonesia. Amen. Okay, Paisley. Bob. Yeah, you're going to pick one. Come on. No, you're not too tired. If you're too tired, then we're not going to go to the zoo. So I need you to pray. You want to go to the zoo. Which one do you want to pick? Do you want to pick one that you painted or one that you colored? Or? You know which one you painted? Ooh, which one is that? Do yeah. Do you remember the name of that flag? No. Brazil. Brazil. I thought Shall it was Russia. Brazil? I thought it was okay. Russia. Okay. I think you painted Russia. Yeah. Uh, Paisley, you're going to pray. Do you think for Brazil? I said Russia. I got it. Russia. I don't know the people in Brazil. 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 You don't know them because... One that I painted super, so when it dries out, we'll kick it out and put it in the drawer. Amen. Amen. That's what How about the people in Brazil? Can you pray for them? Can you pray for the people in Brazil? Say, Jesus, please help them find you and love you and turn to you. Amen. Good job, guys. Well, I hope that that was insightful for you, and I hope that if you've got a young family that you'd consider doing something like this, we're trying to cultivate young hearts and grow them up into the way that the Lord would have them walk and live, 
And uh, so it's important to spend time in prayer and praying for our missionaries and in God's word uh, that brings transformation of our minds and our hearts. Um, and if you don't have a family, this is something that you can still do. This is still a great Bible. And I would encourage you when missionaries come and they share, pick up a card and start a prayer journal. Start a booklet and, and maybe you like coloring or maybe you don't like coloring. But this is something for all ages, all walks of life. And I hope that you will do it. God bless you.